Do you ever think that if like, do you think that we had to be smart to invent language? True. But then also, the invention of language just by itself made us smarter. You ever think about that? Because now we have like a, a scaffolding to think. I, I'm not the right guy to have this conversation. But here's what I'm... What's interesting is that I think if you... Most people will probably agree with this. Let's just get through the, um, the part where people type a lot of question marks first because it might take me a little bit to explain it. You can recognize that you have an idea that's complex that might need you like four sentences to explain, but you get recognizance of the idea immediately and then you can unwrap it yourself via using language as a structure. That's crazy to me. Like sometimes a light bulb will go off in your head and then someone will be like, what are you talking about? And you're like, oh, I just realized how to solve the uh, debug issue that I was having in my code. And they're like, explain it. And you're like, well, well, here's what the fuck. And then it was an array out of bounds exception, but that's fine. It's because the size of the array went over in 32.max. So we need to refactor this, this. And then you're like, that was like a, a 12 sentence idea that popped into your head fully formed. That's fucking crazy, bro. What does, I mean, I guess it's, it doesn't look like anything, but like, what is that? How can an idea that complex just pop into your, I mean, your subconscious is obviously building like Legos back there or something, and then it's presenting them to you. And sometimes you're like, what the fuck? SpongeBob round pants? And sometimes you're like, thank you so much. You've saved my life. Sometimes your subconscious is like, check it out. I've been working on this for 14 hours. And then it's a, a jar of peanut butter, but the letters are switched. So it says peanut putter. And you're like, what? It is kind of funny, though. Classic. <laughs> this is not going to 10, by the way. We're going to die. By the way, after that last Jackbox session, I was so pleased to have the Discord explain to me like I'm an idiot, which I am when it comes to astronomy especially, but what tidally locked means. I must have skipped that day of school where the teacher explained what tidal locking is. So the moon and the earth... The earth rotates, of course... And the moon rotates, but it also rotates around us at precisely the same pace or rate, I guess is a better way to explain it. So we always see the same side of the moon minus like a very little bit of, of wobble, I suppose. That is cool. I don't know why, what, I, I was just being genuine when Apollo said, why do you think the moon looks the same every day? And I was like, it's because it's a fucking circle, bro. <laughs> I just never thought about it, man. I never looked at the moon and was like, oh, the pattern looks exactly the same as it did yesterday. That's cool, man. But then that got, that got me fucked up because I started thinking, and there's no like fruit to this. Like there's no, there's no wisdom came from this. But it got me thinking about like the universe. And I'm like, this is, it never ends well. So I'm like, it doesn't make sense, <laughs> this whole universe thing. Okay, so I'm like, what, what happened before the Big Bang? And people are like, well, the, one of the prevailing theories right now is that maybe like the universe constantly expands until it reaches like uh, a bound and then it contracts until it compresses into like that little ball of matter that then becomes a second Big Bang and you're in like a cyclical universe type thing. And I'm like, all right, motherfucker, but like what was the Big Bang in, bro? What was the Big Bang in? If the Big Bang created space, then what was the, like I, I feel like, what, to whom, Ben? Aquaman? What the fuck was the, where was it banging, bro? How can there be a ball of something in nothing? It doesn't make sense, man. It also started time, so when was it? I'm not even at that level yet, okay? I know this space and time are like, you know, bedfellows. I'm still working in like some 1700s model where I'm like, let's just imagine that time keeps moving forward or backwards, I suppose, but space is like something that you can manipulate. Wasn't it just a vacuum? But how could it how could it be a vacuum, bro? 
Because in order for there to be a vacuum, there must be something for there to be nothing in. It doesn't make any sense. Happy New Year. Daniel, Daniel, hey, we have some questions for you in your chat, okay? We're... The prevailing theory of the current state of the universe is that the Big Bang happened. Super concentrated uh, matter exploded and expanded over billions of years, that expansion and the coalescing and the increase in entropy and the decrease in temperature and the increase in temperature has led to the celestial bodies and so on and so forth. So you say, what, where did the Big Bang come from? One of the theories right now is that the universe expands until it can't expand anymore and then it begins a contraction, like an elastic band or something like that. Uh, and it becomes like a, a big crunch and then it becomes like a super concentrated ball of matter again, which then it gets too concentrated and explodes back out into another Big Bang. But what the hell was the Big Bang in, bro? If this shit is like a person on a trampoline and they reach maximum uh, potential energy and then they have the Big Bang up and then they have the big crunch down to repeat it, wh what is the trampoline situated on, bro? If the trampoline is the thing that invented space. Uh, the metaphor kind of fell apart at the end. That's, you, you've described it exactly right. My ass is like a circle, and you're explaining the concept of a sphere to me. And I'm like, what are you talking about, a sphere? Well, I'm a circle, bro. It sounds like you're just talking about a circle. Like, imagine if you took uh, circles and then tilted them and spun them infinitely... What would you have? And I'd be like, what do you mean fucking tilt, bro? There's no such thing as tilt. There's no tilt. It's flat all the way. Your metaphor fell apart. And yet you said language made us smarter? It did, bro. Before written language, people were not conjuring, contemplating the mysteries of the universe. This shit only happened, like, this particular shit, I feel like, only happened post, like, 1861. Maybe post-1865, they got the Civil War out of the way, and then all of a sudden, they were like, okay, what's going on with this Big Bang shit? Back in the caveman days, they were like fucking... They were just eating berries. Have I ever talked about... I, I think I talked about this before. You know how pissed I'll be? Let, let me rephrase. Do you know how pissed I would be if I were a caveman and heaven was real? Let me explain why. Can you imagine living before the dawn of fire? And your ass, your staple crop is like sweet potatoes or something like that. So your ass is out here eating raw sweet potatoes every day, getting tummy aches that like we can't even fathom just to stay alive. And there wasn't even any Netflix or anything. You were just staying alive, like just for something to do. Then you get to heaven and you're, you're like, oh my God, there were so many like other people in the world. I didn't know. That's so cool. Oh, I'm sure glad we got heaven food now, right? And they're like, what are you talking about, bro? I, I was born on the island that had pineapples. And you're like, what? Your ass was eating fresh pineapples every single day? I was munching on bark? That's not fair. That's fucked up, bro. They could have migrated. I would have been a fucking sick caveman, bro. Yeah, I could have migrated. Let me just um start building a caravan and driving it in a direction. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going, navigating by the damn stars. Then, like, uh, just so what? It's a 3% chance my great, 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 great grandkids will get to eat pineapples? Fuck that, bro. I'm busy enough just trying to forage for the damn sweet potatoes. Not my ass looking up at the filament, trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to go to get to Hawaii. Spoilers, it's a fucking 35-year-long sail in a reed boat across the Pacific Ocean. Best of luck to you. I think about that a lot with baking. Like, how the fuck do people learn how to bake? Some validity there. You know what, because you're talking about the invention of baking powder. I feel the same way. The, the thing that's most annoying to me in the English language is how many built-in meanings are lies. You know what shit pissed me off I found out in university? Me and my friend were, were trying to save money. You should say, you know, how'd you want to save money? Well, we spent too much money on beer. So what did you do? Decide to drink less? No, idiot. This was 2008. It was basically a health potion back then. We decided to make our own beer instead. So instead of paying a dollar for a 
shitty beer, you could pay like 32 cents in ingredients for a beer that might actually kill you. <laughs> so my buddy buys like all the, oh, I shouldn't, eh, whatever. Obviously I'm cooked. My buddy buys all the ingredients, or not the ingredients, but like the, the equipment. Um, and he says, hey, can you just go pick up like some apple juice because we were making cider and some yeast. So catch my ass. I got the apple juice at the grocery store. Um, and then I said, oh, I got to get some, some yeast. I see a product called Brewer's Yeast. Brewer's Yeast? I said, that's got to be what I want. I take it back. My friend looks at me like I'm a fucking idiot. He says, what the hell is this? I said, it's Brewer's Yeast. He says, oh, brewer's yeast is, you can't use it for brewing. It's dead yeast. You have to get non-brewer's yeast to brew beer because the yeast in brewer's yeast is dead. Like British people spread it on toast or something like that. It doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. Why the hell is brewer's yeast the only yeast you can't use to brew? They should call it like dead yeast or something like that. It's yeast from the brewer. They should just name it something that describes what it is instead of this ambiguity. Again, there's infinite words and letters in the English language. Like, why not just make it make sense instead of making it stupid? We don't have infinite letters. We do, bro. We have 26. That's like saying we don't have infinite molecules. Of course we do, bro. Sure, the periodic tables only got like 140 fucking elements or something like that, but you could put them together like one you put together them uh, X plus Y and all of a sudden you got water X plus Y Y you drink that shit you blow up like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory then X Y Y but you fucking mix up the bond on the Y and point it in a different direction boner pill language is just Social chemistry, bro. Like, no matter how you, you... You could tweak it. You could change the emphasis. You could use a different combination of letters. Look at whales, bro, and tell me, oh, the words would be too long. Take that shit to Gwen Lifford the give it, the give it a good. And tell me, they'll just laugh at you. I want to go to that fucking lake that has the longest name in the world. Oh, no, that's not a lake. That's a town. Oh, it's a town. Yeah, and it's... Uh,